The end of slavery brought the promise of freedom and equality, but the rollback of Reconstruction led to a systematic erosion of the rights of African Americans throughout the South. Yet as races spread Jim Crow's poison, waves of black migrants decided to leave the South in search of equal rights, personal safety, and economic opportunity. The Homestead Act, which President Abraham Lincoln had signed into law in 1862, granted settlers, including free black people, the ability to claim 160 acres of government land. As Reconstruction eroded, thousands of African Americans, dubbed exodusters, moved westward, particularly to Kansas, hoping to claim land. This first migration of black people out of the Deep South was called the Great Exodus of 1879. Most black Southerners, as Christians, felt that they were being delivered into a promised land. The end of the 19th century saw Jim Crow laws codify racial segregation, racist aggression against black people intensify, and lynchings increase throughout the South. Starting in the 1890s, some Southern African Americans began moving north. Migration dramatically increased during World War I as immigration from Europe declined and factories in the North started recruiting black workers. Thousands of African Americans left their Southern homes to move to places like Chicago, Detroit, Harlem, Los Angeles. This was known as the Great Migration. This would transform the places where they moved. As employment opportunities increased, so too did demand for housing. Segregated neighborhoods ratcheted up the competition for space between black and white residents. The result was black urban population hubs, influential political and cultural concentrations in cities such as Chicago and Detroit, Washington and New York. The Harlem Renaissance was the most famous black cultural movement resulting from the Great Migration. World War II spurred even more migration as black civilians left the South for industrial jobs created by the demands of war, filling vacancies created by men being drafted. The second Great Migration was more sustained. This generation moved into cities that already had black communities that had been established by the first Great Migration. They would transform America's popular culture, politics to sports, were influenced by that second great migration, including something like the birth of Motown, which is the direct result of the second great migration. The North's victory during the Civil War, unfortunately, didn't lead to full civic or social equality for African Americans in the South. But gaining American citizenship provided the formerly enslaved people with the freedom to move, and they exercised that freedom to move in search of a better life. 